women are dealing with more men, it's going to be harder competition. If you don't see your value and if you don't feel this way about yourself, that you shouldn't get disrespected, it wasn't for the right reason. So sometimes it's like, if you feel confident, then you're not going to get disrespected. But if you sh to everybody today we are going to be talking about never take disrespect from women and y'all i really want to get straight into it so please give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know what types of videos you guys would like to see and so i really have to start with saying to never take disrespect from women is showing how much you value yourself and how much you're important and that's off the bat what we have to talk about because a lot of times the reason why you guys are even taking disrespect from women is because you guys honestly feel like you should. And in all conclusion, I had a little hair on my face. <laughs> in all conclusion, it means that you don't respect or love yourself or see the value in yourself. So think about it this way. All the high value men out here that never take disrespect from women, never tolerate it. There's a reason why they are treated that way always as that high value person. And it's down to the fact of never ever taking it from anybody so they know their value the high value men out here yes they have the things to back it up but you have to keep in mind they could be doing every great thing in the world but if they're dealing with the same type of woman that wants more and more and that same type of woman found another man he's not going to feel like he's so high value unless he's keeping his confidence up so a lot of times fellas don't get that Yes, you can have what it takes to get a woman, but it doesn't mean nothing if you can't have enough to keep a woman, right? So if you have enough to keep a woman, that means that you yourself, what you have is good enough. So your inner self is going to be good enough. You guys got to get like this, get it like this, as in fellas nowadays that have more money and more status, right? The things that you have that gives you a higher guarantee to get women it still takes way more to keep these women because as and this is not relatable for a lot of my fellas only because i know it's a struggle with women nowadays but as you keep dealing with women for those fellas out there that have that confidence right what women are looking in to more so now um have the status have the money those guys if they can't keep it up to that next next level of what she's being used to, what she's been around, what she likes, then those guys are gonna be irrelevant. So if, let's say like this, if you're following, if that guy loses his confidence, if he doesn't think that he is that it guy or that high value guy, what's gonna happen with him? When he's dealing with that woman, now he's gonna be able to take disrespect. Now he will take disrespect from that woman. And that is because of the fact that he doesn't feel like he's valuable enough. Let's dismiss the fact that he has money and status. If women are dealing with more men, it's going to be harder competition. It's hard to deal with women, no matter how much status you have, no matter how much money you have, because you're going to now still be put as another guy because based on these other guys that she can and she has been dealing with. So I hope you guys are getting the point that if you're confident, and I'm going to keep talking about confidence because I really like mental health, if you guys don't know, I was trying to tell you guys I want to talk about, right? So I'm going to keep talking about confidence because it's really, really a key thing to never take disrespect. But I will get to the wrapping up just quickly, soon enough. Just give me a second. I have a few more things to say as far as if you're taking disrespect, also it's showing that your confidence has disappeared. So a lot of times fellas feel like just because they have enough, and this is not relating back to what I was saying, enough in the sense of like money and status, that it's gonna be good enough all the time. So now when you take disrespect from a woman, right? It's the moments that you feel less than. It's the moments where you feel like, okay, well, I shouldn't have taken disrespect, right? But it's down, it's gone. So it doesn't matter what you have. Ultimately, if you're battling these things within yourself as a fella, as a man, you're going to always face these things. So maybe for my fellas out here that are like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to make all the money and make all or have all the status that women want in order to get women. Don't get too excited because it doesn't mean that when you get to the top, you can have all the women to keep them around. Y'all got to get that. It gets to a point where a lot of fellas have to start buying women's love. Now, I'm not going to get off topic. That's a whole nother story. 
But just because you have money and status as a man doesn't mean that you have women around for the right reason. Most times not because, you know, it's just because they're around for the money. But also don't think just the guys that have the money and status because they could have those women around. It's done and sealed. Like these women are going to be loyal, committed, right? You guys are looking for serious relationships. Those guys that have money and status, another thing a lot of fellas don't get also they don't tolerate disrespect, but also they'll never get that respect to the level of, okay, this woman will treat them the way that they want to be treated to that exact point of being loyal, right? Maybe some fellas want this woman to do more certain things. Maybe it's cooking, cleaning, um, covering up, um, not showing or texting certain men, those type of things. You guys will not get that. Even if you have that money and status, it's still a struggle for those guys as well. So ultimately, what keeps a lot of women around is going to be, and this is my last part of the video, you guys, pay attention. So you know your confidence. You have your confidence. You've basically developed it enough to have it get you women, right? So the next part that I was trying to focus on is like, you have to keep women around. I was saying that earlier. So now I can get into this exact point of how in order to keep women around, it's only going to be based on who you are and how true you are to yourself. A lot of times these techniques of like showing someone that you're not there, right? Especially as a man, when women want attention, those techniques are enough to keep a woman around, right? But it's playing a part of your personality. It's going to play a part of showing who you are, right? And so a lot of fellas, they might show that they have the money and the status, that first part that I was talking about. But now when it comes out to keep the woman, they can't show this next part, right? So to break it all down for you guys, you can have any woman that you want. And I've said it in like tens of thousands of videos. Any woman out here could be any fellas, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be valuable enough. It And it. And this is what I was going to say. Don't worry about a woman's beauty. But I want to get to a point of like, it doesn't matter how beautiful she is. How many times do I have to tell you guys? Her beauty will be there, right? But you will come across women that are just like her. And it will be because of her beauty, but also personality. So now it's like, what is she bringing to the table? And this is the part where fellas that have that high value, that have that, I am not taking no shit from any woman they won't ever and so at the end when they get to a point where they are dealing with the woman and they got feelings for her or this woman is showing a little bit more interest you can now select what women are going to be good enough based on how they treat you completely so before it's like you get so caught up in basically well if she's um saying this type of stuff it's not that bad and it's okay to stick around and then you get to a point where, okay, well, she's beautiful and maybe I won't get her again or I won't get a woman like her. And then you still take disrespect, right? But this last aspect is down to how fellas will realize that your value is enough to keep a woman around, but you don't have to change your value to be enough for this woman. So if she's going to want money from you, if she's going to stick around and then start disrespecting you, and you can't say, well, I'm not taking no disrespect, no more from you. And that's down to, okay, well, you don't want to be treated that way. But simply because you know your value, then you will walk away. So all the actions that men will show moving forward after having what it takes to have a woman, which is like I've been saying, I don't know how many times I have to say it. I'll leave it at that though. The actions that you show to get woman and what takes to get woman nowadays, once you've showed it, if you're laying down your rules and now you're setting your boundaries straight, walking away when you should, right? When a woman does disrespect you because you know that you are more valuable than that disrespect, then you go ahead and make sure that she doesn't disrespect you again and it might be cutting her off. Like I said, walking away works, but now I'm trying to just reach off to give you more examples. And in the modern day, it just might mean that you don't text her for some days. That is honestly also another way to get to a woman to bother them but at the end of the day you're trying to show her that you won't take nothing else and that's what it gets to a lot of times in order to keep a woman around when you show her that you won't take nothing else it's also her changing how she's gonna react how she's gonna start treating you 
if she's really down for you or there is something that stands out at least more than the other guys that she has done dealt with then you won't have that worry of okay well this woman is not going to be completely loyal to me no more or she's not going to be um respecting me you won't have these worries no more but it's all down to putting a woman in her place and these are these are the things that i've been saying in this video of like what you have to do you can't keep tolerating you can't keep accepting once you've set the rules and you've laid it down being true to yourself as a man and never taking disrespect from a woman is down to also walking away also knowing at this point i've been through enough with you and i don't want to go through no more and i don't deserve to go through no more right so if we're gonna move on to the next the next aspect of you guys choosing yourself and not taking disrespect from women and we talk about how you guys can just simply do that by not being around moving forward and then showing yourself and it's showing yourself in the beginning of like oh once you do this i'm gone then you guys can get to the last part of <clears throat> this is how we'll finally close our video you guys can get to the last point of never taking disrespect from a woman and that is never taking it because you will never get involved with her this last part is like the deepest part a lot of fellas and thank you guys for watching to the end but a lot of fellas don't get that you have to push a woman to her last button if you guys want a part two let me know just on this point but once you push her to her last button she always has no alternative but to get something out of you because that last button means that she can't get nothing the reactions all the slick cards that she played all the mixed games the hot and cold that i'm here i'm gone where are you i don't know you i like you but you're not that fine i'm the baddest all those games that she has i could keep going right all those games that a lot of women have nowadays they can't play these slick cards they've tried it on you they tried this game on you and now that you guys know it they have to now get to a deeper level of like doing things differently that is discomforting it's so uncomfortable for a lot of women to do these things because they never been in that situation before they never ever had a man tell her okay well you know what take some time to do this do that and this is your areas of working on this right these are the things that guys don't necessarily have to point out it matters and then we have the guys that will go ahead and make sure that they push a woman to their buttons where a woman will play these games but they won't allow it to work and so that is the last part as i was getting to and saying in this video of the disrespecting to this last extent of not allowing it to happen a man will not allow a woman to disrespect him once he realizes that okay this woman has done everything to try to disrespect him you get what i'm saying it gets to a point where you guys realize that you are now tolerating respect a lot of simps out here and this is now reaching not reaching but like kind of getting into a little different topic of like you can be the guy that never takes respect but if we talk about a lot of simps out here they don't even realize their value where they will take this respect and in all reality they just don't know how to deal with it they think it's okay so when you're dealing with a woman that treats a man constantly a certain way and a man thinks that disrespecting is okay in this form he thinks this way of like disrespecting is um you know not so bad because the way he was raised all those things plays a part but then you have a woman doing these things and a man accepting it now dealing with it and then now we have where a woman thinks that she could do whatever she wants with a man and then we have a man taking whatever he can from a woman and that is the part where you never take disrespect because now you guys are so confused on to what you should be taking and tolerating from a woman when it's beyond what you've been already accepting you have to get to a point where you have to understand and accept it for yourself and when i say accept it for yourself is because you realize that you're more valuable than what you should be getting treated you are more valuable than what you already been getting treated especially by women disrespecting you back to back if you don't see your value and if you don't feel this way about yourself that you shouldn't get disrespected and you don't understand that all these times that you got disrespected it wasn't for the right reasons then you will never ever be able to act upon why you shouldn't have you will never actually show that you shouldn't been 
and it's like down to like people do and especially women they will treat you how they feel about you so sometimes it's like if you feel confident then you're not gonna get disrespected but if you show that you're not confident or if your lifestyle is showing you that you're not living the life of being that guy or being that high value guy then it's gonna harm you it's gonna hurt you and it's gonna disrespect you and it's gonna allow you to take 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 things in oftentimes so many times okay so in order for all that to stop you put the end to it by knowing your value and knowing that you are that prize that one and only in your own life and always always living up to that all right so i really hope this video was helpful and if it was please give this video a big thumbs up you guys will see me in my next video bye guys